Hi, Hugh. Hey. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. The world that we see in Mayor of Kingstown is packed with danger and really intriguing situations. How on earth did you come up with the idea for it? I grew up in Kingston, you know, and as a kid, I was, I was, it goes right back to when I was like six or seven, I was in the back seat with my mom and dad and we passed Kingston Penitentiary and I saw the guard tower and I said, and I was, is that Disneyland? <laughs> and my mom and dad, that is not Disneyland. And, you know, and I'm a curious person by nature and the fact that, and you don't want to know about that. It made me really want to know about it. And, um, so yeah, I grew up in that town and there were nine pens and uh, you know, a women's pen and a maximum pen and a medium penitentiary. And I had known some incredible characters in that town and uh, near the wells. And by the time I met Taylor, I had, he was my acting coach in LA. And um, he coached me for like 75 episodes of Flashpoint and 30 episodes or whatever it was of Durham County. And we would talk all the time. And I'd never met anybody who could um, take apart characters and scenes and worlds so effortlessly. And he just, you know, I had met a lot of people before they did what they did. For example, you know, I grew up with Gord Downey and I knew then this guy is capable of these, of greatness. And I grew up with Doug Gilmore. We played hockey in the same swamp. And when I met Taylor, I, th I just thought this guy is, he could write, he could do something. And I brought over a printer one day and I said, you can write this story. So it's Kingston, there's not, and he goes, well, let's change it to Kingstown. And, and yet, and it just, it just picks up its own momentum when you're too creative person. It's very much like two musicians with a guitar and going, I've got this riff and passing it to a better guitar player. And he goes, oh, you know, we could do this. And then the bridge would go here. And it's and he's very much a teacher. He was my he was my teacher. And so um, we built it and built the characters. And he's a very curious person as well. So he'd be like, well, so so what would happen and what else? And, you know, I talked about my mom being a teacher. So that became Miriam McCluskey and and Diane Wiest, who's who's now playing that part. And um, yeah, it it picked up its own momentum and just we just built and I'm you know I, I'm used to writing songs and I'm used to um creating worlds and he just taught me to scale up in every every regard he taught me how to transfer my my whatever natural skill I had as a performer on stage he taught me how to do it on film and then he taught me how to be a producer by getting me to come for to work on Yellowstone and and see how the rest of it is made. And he got me to meet Renner when we shot um, uh, Wind River. And uh, he's just been, uh, he's just a force of nature and just a wildly talented, compassionate, uh, decent human being, changed my life. Like you mentioned, some of the cast members, I mean, they're absolutely incredible, yourself included. Did you have a hand in casting it? Well, I had my dream cast and Taylor made sure that happened. He looked at me where I, he said, you got to come to Texas. We're going to write the last five episodes of season one. And he asked me when we were done. So who do you want to play Miriam? And, uh, you know, it was Diane Weiss. And he went, yep, me too. And they got on the phone and got her. He's, he's a magician, magician in that way. He just makes it happen. And he just believes in himself and he believes in the project. And it's that passion that is, um, you know, we all have it and it becomes contagious and, you know, and then Diane gets into it and, she, and Jeremy gets into it. And that's what um, that's what makes it such a successful show, because everyone is invested. It's it's um, everyone's committed. And there is there is that in, in that you find the heart and the hope and a way to harness that kind of relentless energy. Well, have you seen any of your Flashpoint castmates in any future episodes in like guest appearances or anything? Well, uh, Sergio DeZio, I was trying to get him into season one and there's still a place, you know, if uh, we move forward to, uh, you know, when we get to, to season three and four, he is somebody I wanted for a role and um, I still do, you know, he's just an exceptionally talented actor and uh you can't get enough Sergio Spike from Flashpoint. It's really cool that it's filmed at Kingston Penn. Was that 
I guess that was always the plan, right? It was. Um, I just was, you know, shocked that it all fell into place. And my folks were in their 90s at the time and they got to see me bring it all back home and shoot at the Kingston Pen and in the middle of a pandemic and bring jobs to the, you know, the community. It was a chance to just to, you know, pay people back for all of the great things that they'd done for me. And I was just uh, profoundly satisfied and um, grateful. And uh, yeah, every step of the way, it took forever to get there. But once we got there, it kind of, you know, by that time, Taylor was Taylor and it just, um, it, 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 he just got it to unfold naturally and um, perfectly in, in every regard. Now, the second season debuts on Paramount Plus January 15th. What's in store? Will there be any changes? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a it's 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 a more intimate look at these folks and why they do what they do. But it is uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like it is uncompromising storytelling. That's what Taylor does. And so it um, you know, and we're looking at the most brutal, unfair places on Earth in the 21st century in our own society. So it is. Um, it has its own velocity. I'm in post right now looking at the later episodes and it becomes hypnotic. You just can't look away. And it's the storytelling is impeccable. And Taylor's at the top of his game. He's a world-class writer. And, um, and Renner is, uh, you know, is, is like De Niro and Raging Bull. You cannot look away there. Um, and Diane Wiest is um, exceptional. It's just, I have, I've just been, it's just a gift. Yeah, it's an incredible cast. The storylines are incredible. I can't wait to see the second season. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Uh, thank you. Down. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel or if you're returning, but you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap it now, plus the notification bell in the top right-hand corner so you make sure you don't miss out on any new celebrity interviews. Also, hit the like button and tell me below in the comments, who's your favorite star? Who would you like to see me interview next? I'd love to hear from you.